Yo, what is going on, y'all? Welcome in. I'm Kimbrough Plays. Welcome back to our Browns franchise here in Madden 21. Man, what a great and crazy episode. That game against the Raiders had, I swear, I have heart palpitations now. I mean, I have to go see a doctor or something. That went down to the wire as, uh, as Zane Gonzalez hammers home the field goal from 49 at the buzzer. Browns walk away with the victory, continue their winning ways, and uh, as we look at week eight, we got Greedy Williams playing big, had a great game, and uh, we got a message. He's ready for a breakout. So let's go ahead and uh, talk to Greedy about his opportunity to upgrade his development trait. He's currently a normal. I think we can get him up to a star with a solid performance. Hold the pats to under 200 passing or get Greedy one of either an interception, force fumble, tackle for loss or a sack I'm excited hopefully he can make that happen would love to see him get a little bump be a big uh, big piece for our secondary and speaking of the secondary let's keep chipping away at recruiting or scouting this uh this class of corners so far so good looks to be a deep class with lots of different options super excited to be able to backfill this cornerback room Get as many people in there as possible, especially guys like a Dante Dotson. Fifth round grade on him, but he's really a slot corner. 21 years old, 6'1", 194, great size. Somebody like him, middle of this draft, would be ideal for us to add to this cornerback room. I'm looking to get as much balance in the game as possible between the CPU sliders and the gameplay sliders. I really thought that the quarterback accuracy for the computer has been way too high and uh, some really easy standing in the middle of the pocket, no pressure throws from Baker have been wild. You know, a couple throws to Odell in that Raiders game on those deep in routes, those come to mind. So I'm going to flip the quarterback accuracy here on our slider, but I'm not going to touch anything else. I think for the most part, the rest of it has been pretty balanced and I've, I've enjoyed the sliders so far a lot. A couple players to upgrade here as we get ready for week eight action against the Patriots. Grant Delpit is due for an upgrade. He's already a zone uh, archetype with a scheme fit. Nice little bump, a little bit lower than I'd like, but Grant in his first full season in the league, having a nice, nice start to his career, playing some good football, in on a lot of plays, really happy about his progression so far. And uh, JC Treader is officially back and he gets an upgrade. So that's super exciting. He's doing 85 overall with a nice agile bonus. Lots of lots of boosts there, especially making up for lost time, seeing as he was out uh, a handful of weeks and Nick Harris was starting. He's the seventh ranked center in the league. Uh, only 30 years old, so probably still some tread on, on those treader miles. But uh, yeah, big fan of JC. Excited to have him back in the lineup this week. The Patriots come into this one four and three so far on the year. Obviously, Stephon Gilmore, uh, 99 overall, absolute stud out there on the edge. And uh, Devin McCourty still playing at a very high level at 34 years old. Chris Carson, Shaq Mason, David Andrews, Joe Thune. Lots of little pieces here, but uh, nothing that really scares me. Uh, most, mostly because the quarterback position is still just Cam Newton, uh, who is, I think, a little bit past where he should be as far as being a full-time starter on a on a competing team, so I think we're going to be in good shape this week against uh, against the Patriots. Uh, not a lot of star power left on this roster. Some good players, but nobody that really uh, stands out and really dominates, especially on the defensive end. I think if we can avoid Stephon Gilmore and uh, not throw it his way, I think we'll be just fine. Let's take a look. And the Browns take care of business at home. 35-17, they get the win against the New England Patriots. Again, winning the turnover battle 2 to nothing. Not a super prolific day in terms of yardage. Only 245 through the air and just barely over 100 rushing. Um, but dominated time of possession. It looks like we're pretty effective at not turning the ball over. Baker sacked three times, but Cam Newton sacked five and threw two interceptions. So that's good to see out of the Browns' defense. Chubb, the leading rusher, 72 yards on 19 carries and gets into the end zone. Kareem also adds a touchdown on the ground. Brown's running game in the simulations 
Not as prolific as I'd like to see, but we keep winning, so I'm not too, too worried about it. Not a huge day receiving as well for anybody. Mo Ali Cox gets 84 on 10 catches, the tight end. Jarvis, the leading receiver for the Browns. Galladay, Hooper, and OBJ are able to score, which is nice to see, though. Patrick Chung and Reuben Foster lead the way for the Patriots on defense. Denzel gets in there for seven tackles himself. Miles Garrett, though, that is a beastly performance. Gets himself four more sacks and adds a tackle for loss. He is a force to be reckoned with so far early in this year. I'm curious if he forced any fumbles. Now it doesn't look like it, but he has been dominant, and uh, I don't know where we'd be without 95 having the impact that he's had so far. The Browns with the best record in the NFL, the only undefeated team left, and uh, now have a two-game lead basically up on the Bengals, who have dropped two in a row. Taking a look at Greedy, it looks like he was not able to accomplish his goals. He did not get his breakout performance. We were able to hold Stephon Gilmore to having an impact in the game, so we'll get a little 500-plus XP boost for all of our receivers. And weirdly enough, Odell says he's frustrated, which is funny because pretty sure he got a touchdown catch in this last game. So no promises, Odell. The offense gets a 5-plus morale boost. And uh, we'll see if we can get him apparently utilized since a touchdown on three catches is not enough for OBJ. Big injury decision here for us to take a look at as well. Ronnie Harrison is almost due to return. Uh, this is a close one for me. Antoine Book Brooks has been playing well, um, and I like having Ronnie Harrison back, but the acceleration rating is normal as a 90. He'd be a 76, and his injury down to a 75. Let's just go ahead and run with Brooks for one more week and make sure Ronnie's not going to have any lasting issues. Forgot to take a look here at the Week 8 Player of the Week Awards. Miles Garrett, the AFC Player of the Week on defense. Absolutely dominant in there with Josh Allen, Aaron Rodgers. Good to see uh, Miles stuffing the stat sheet and uh, really having an impact on the defensive side. Ronnie Harrison and Antoine Brooks are both up for contracts this year. Uh, so, and, and with Ronnie having a little bit of injury history, I'd like to take a look at this safety class and see if there's anybody sneaking uh, into, into the mix. And Justin White, a uh, second round projection with a first round talent. He might be something we can take a look at. Like I said, I really like Ronnie, but uh, if he continues to have injury issues, we might have to address safety in the draft. Eric Stokes is ready to get himself an upgrade. We throw one into zone here. I'd like to make him make sure he's nice and well-rounded in his ratings. Uh, he's he's a little bit lacking in his zone coverage. Already an 80 overall in man. Having a nice start to his uh, his NFL career. Only 22 years old star development. Really happy with Stokes' play so far. Oddly enough, someone we haven't talked a lot about because Stokes has been taking those snaps, but Nick Needham, also somebody we could consider keeping around long-term, gets himself up to a 76 overall with a plus one speed zone and awareness. That's a really nice boost for him. Only 24 years old, great size, in his third year out of UTEP. Very similar ratings here to Stokes. Uh, Greedy not getting a chance to boost his overall with the development last game. Nita might be in the mix a little bit. Austin Jackson doing a really nice job. Filling in for the injured Jack Conklin gets another up upgrade. He's up to a 68 overall now as well. Still, again, at 22, having a high morale, getting a little boost because he's playing well and getting some games in. Good to see Jackson starting to maybe become the swing tackle of the future we wanted him to become. Speaking of Jack Conklin, he is back now this week, returning fully from his injury. He'll be in the starting lineup at right tackle, sliding Austin over to left tackle, still filling in for Jedrick. But uh, good to see Austin getting those snaps and holding down the fort while Jack was back. But Jack is a welcome addition. And uh, between Jack and J.C. Treader, starting to get a healthy on the offensive line, maybe hopefully going to give Nick Chubb a boost back into his top rushing form. Here's what the Detroit Lions look like coming into this uh, this matchup in Week 9. Interestingly enough, nobody over an 86 overall on this roster. Hawkinson, Flowers, Matt Stafford still at the helm. 
Romeo Aquara, who's a good young player. Rashawn Slater, rookie superstar development out of him. That's going to be an interesting matchup to see he and uh, he and Olivier matching up against each other. Taylor Decker and Miles Garrett, vice versa. The tackle versus end matchups are going to be fascinating in this one. Damian Williams is their lead running back. It looks like Demarcus Robinson might be their top wide receiver option. So going to be interesting to see if uh, the Lions can score and keep up with this potent Browns offense here in week nine. Let's dive into it. And welcome to First Energy Stadium, the Cleveland Browns and the Detroit Lions. Going head to head here. Thursday night football, the Browns in the classic 2010s unis. The orange alternates on top with the gray face masks looking clean. They are ready to roll tonight. Matt Stafford bringing his 4-3 and three Lions to Cleveland. We'll see if they can keep pace with this Browns offense that has been absolutely rolling. The dog pound is ready to go. Kevin Stefanski looking fired up on the sidelines. And uh, let's see if the Browns can do a little better on rush defense this week. Struggling, giving up some major yards. Damian Williams, 15 carries, 103 yards, and two touchdowns last week. Another tough test, another good running game coming into Cleveland. Let's see if uh, if the Browns' defense is up to the task. It's Matthew Stafford getting himself ready to roll. Let's see how he does in this one. Jamie Gillen has it teed up, and we are underway in Cleveland. Browns and the Lions under the lights on Thursday. Nice kickoff coverage by the Browns there. Lions are going to start this drive. Matthew Stafford's going to come onto the field at the 23-yard line. Doing a really good job protecting the football so far. 15 touchdowns, only three interceptions, 1,700 yards passing. Matthew Stafford doing a nice job for the Lions. He's in shotgun on first and 10 from the 23. Gets the snap. Stands left. Yeah. Over the middle, intercepted! Zayvon Collins, he's got the chance. He might go to the five, to the end zone. And on the first throw of the game, Matthew Stafford is intercepted. Zayvon Collins is gonna take this one back. 30 yards for the pick six. One play and instant points. Zayvon Collins, who's been doing a fantastic job out of his middle linebacker position. He's gonna get the Browns on the board first. Miles. Sheldon giving the young rookie some love, telling him that's how it's done, boy. Let's go. Hot start for the Browns. One attempt, one interception, and already Matthew Stafford trailing. His second drive, gonna start from the 25 yard line. Inside give here to Williams, who's got space. Wow, nice little start to his day. 16 yards up the middle. He's got a first down. Brown's definitely going to need to do a better job on the ground containing him today. Second carry of the day, Taki Taki. Cleans this one up with a nice hit. That's a better job on run defense. Well done by the Browns there. Second and nine, Stafford under center. Looking. Running out of room. Running out of time. He throws this one away. Third and nine from the 42. He's in shotgun. Gets the snap, drops back, looks right. Yeah. Intercepted again. Antoine Brooks Jr. goes up and gets this one. Going to get tackled and brought down at the 40, but the Browns are in business. Stafford, three total throws, two interceptions, and the Browns are absolutely rolling. And here comes Baker Mayfield. 1,700 yards passing as well, almost 1,800. 18 touchdowns and eight interceptions. Going to definitely need to protect the ball a little bit better today, but he's been good enough to help the Browns continue their winning ways. His first time touching the ball, he's got a 7-0 lead, and the Browns are already two takeaways into this one. First down handoff is to Chubb going off the right side, outside zone. Lions do a nice job roaming over and stopping him on that one. Short gain of one, second and nine. Baker under center, short drop, looks right, throws right, Landry steps out of bounds. Gain of six, nice little pitch and catch there. Third and three, Baker drops, settles into Hooper, finds a soft spot in the zone, 
He's going to get the first down, down to the 17. Nice play to get Hooper involved. 16 yards there by Austin, who's a nice target. Does a nice job for Cleveland. Browns defensive line looks on, clapping in approval. And the Browns are already in the red zone. Scoring threat number two. On first and 10, Baker and shotgun gets the snap. Dumps this one off left to Hunt in the flat. Does a nice job. Spins off a tackle, gets cleaned up. Gain of a couple, probably about five. Rounds in shotgun, second and six from the 12. Baker making some adjustments. Gets the snap, stands, steps up, is gonna run and slide down. Baker doing a nice job extending that play, picks up the first down. First and goal from the six, handoff is right to Chubb. He gets a couple. Second and goal. Baker under center, making changes. Now steps back from center into shotgun empty set by himself. Play clock running down, Baker gets the snap, looks left, throws to Hooper who is there. Touchdown Browns, 14 nothing. That is Austin Hooper's first receiving catch on the day. He's already getting himself involved. The Browns in control of this one early, 14 nothing. Baker delivering a nice strong strike. Get a good matchup against the middle linebacker there in man coverage and they take advantage. Offensive line doing a nice job already so far, protecting Baker as well. Lions third drive of the day, gonna start from the 22. Stafford checks down to Damian Williams who gets hit by Jacob Phillips. Gain a nine, but the Browns do a nice job cleaning him up. They really gotta do a better job stopping running backs out of the backfield. That's been an Achilles heel the last handful of games. Now this one on first, second and one, excuse me, out right. That's gonna be Elijah Moore, I believe, up the sideline. Streaking for a 21-yard gain. Not really sure what happened. Caught the Browns in cover two. Took advantage on the outside, does Stafford. Recognized blitz. Got it out early to, to Moore. Now on first and 10 on the shotgun. Going to give to Damian Williams off the right edge. He gets a short pickup of five. Good run out of the, out of the shotgun look for the Lions. Stafford on second and five. Going to throw this one away. Not a lot of time. Doesn't want to hold the ball very long. Brown's defensive line is solid. Third and five pressure coming, delivered to Moore. Really nice job by Stafford, throwing him open into the zone. He's got two catches for 36 early in this one. Lions moving the football to the Browns, 29. Stafford on first down, stands, plenty of time. Looks right, dumps it out right to the tight end, Hawkinson, who gets cleaned up. Nice play by Collins and Ward to gang tackle him. Rally the big tight end down to the ground. That's a loss of three. Brown showing blitz on second and 13. Pressure comes, and it gets home. Grant Delpit with his first sack of the day. Able to come on the strong safety blitz and is able to get home. Gets to Stafford, makes a nice play right before Stafford. Looks like maybe he was trying to set up the screen out right to Williams. Doesn't have a chance to let that play develop. Delpit's all over him. Rounds, third and 20 from the 39. Playing some good D so far. Screen set up left to Williams, who's gonna wiggle away from Vernon, breaks a tackle, and then gets hit by Walker Jr. out of bounds. It's a nice little play, but gonna be short. Lions tack on three, get themselves on the board. Carlson drills it. It's 14-3 here in Cleveland. First and 10 from the 26 is where the Browns are gonna start this drive. Baker moves Njoku over to the right. Give is to Chubb, cuts it back up the middle, but not a lot of room there. Another short gain on first down, second and nine. And the second down handoff goes to Chubb up the middle with a lead blocker as well, but again, Lions doing a nice job rallying to the ball. Already third and seven. Baker drops back here on this third down, looks right. Bruh. Oh my goodness, Jeff Okuda with the interception. Had Landry streaking down the sideline, coming across on an over route, and Okuda does a great job staying in phase. Undercuts this one to Landry, and Baker's intercepted here on third and long. Oh yeah, Okuda doing a nice job getting underneath that route. Would love to see Landry come and fight for that ball a little bit. He 
thought Okuda wasn't going to be able to touch it, but that's a Browns turnover. A little momentum. Lions move the ball, get themselves three, now force a turnover. Trying to get back into this one early. Right at midfield's where Matthew Stafford's going to take over on this drive. He's in the shotgun on first and ten. Delayed give is to Williams. Miles Garrett all over it. That play just takes too long to develop. 95 able to shed his right tackle Slater and make the play in the backfield. Might have been the right guard on the pull. Regardless, Miles Garrett can't be handled by the one-on-one. -on -one. Stafford on second and 13, drifts, drifts, finds a nice open spot in the zone. That's more again. Already three catches on the day and counting. He's got 50 early in the first quarter. First and 10 from the 37. Stafford under center, single back. Play action to Williams, rolling right, and Olivier Vernon is there. Olivier with his fifth sack on the season, makes a nice play, fighting off his block. Hanging in there during the bootleg action, and he's going to get to Stafford. Blows this play up in the backfield. Stafford, by the time he rolls and turns his head, he has no idea that his right tackle has given up pressure, and Olivier Vernon's all over him. Second and 20 as the first quarter winds down. Five-step drop for Stafford. Dumps it down to Quintez Sivas, who gets smoked. Hangs onto the ball, though. Third and 18. Stafford with the snap, drifting, drifting, pressure coming, got hit as he threw. That one's going to end up a little short, and the Lions are going to be forced to punt here. And this punt is a good one, down to the nine. That's where Baker Mayfield is going to start. Having a pretty efficient day completion-wise, but his lone incompletion going to be that interception. First and ten from the nine, Baker fakes the give. Ends up going RPO out to Landry, who's got some space on the edge. It's a nice little pickup of nine, and that's going to be the end of our first quarter. Rounds up 14 to three early in this one. Second and short. Baker under center, two tight end set. Give is to Chubb, who does not get there. Lions continuing to do a nice job stopping Nick Chubb on the ground. That's going to leave the Browns with a third and in inches. As Landry comes in motion, Give his inside to Chubb this time. Now he's got a little bit of room. He's going to pick up the first down, burst into the second level. Nick Chubb able to get himself a little bit of space, but six carries for only 17 yards so far in this one. First and 10 from the 28. Baker moving Odell in motion. Play action to Chubb. Looking left, Baker throws it up. Up top for Hooper, and that's a nice play by the linebacker to high point that one and swat it away. Incomplete. Baker with the short drop, throw over the middle on the slant to Galladay, and that's going to get the first down. Really nice pitch and catch there. Baker got it out quick, found Galladay, getting a little space, probably had Hooper over the middle as well, but Galladay, sure-handed on that one, cleans it up, get a little bit of run after the catch, and the Browns are already out to midfield. With first and 10, give is to Chubb, makes a move up against his blockers, wiggles free, but still only able to get three. Second and short, Baker moving Galladay in motion. Takes the snap, throws it over the middle to Galladay. Short little pickup as the pocket started to collapse, leaving the Browns with a third and four. Baker in shotgun, gets it, looks right, looks right, runs right, dumps it to Hooper, who is going to meet up with the corner. Falls forward, but short of the line to gain. It's going to leave the Browns with a fourth and two. And they elect to stay on the field. Not punting from the 46. Baker in shotgun. Throws right over the middle to Galladay. Tight window throw. Who's coming across on a slant. Galladay picks that one up. First down. First and 10. Baker on the five-step drop. Looks left. Throws up top to OBJ. Nice job by the safety coming over and swatting that thing down. Now on second and 10. Give his left to Chubb, who got a little bit of space early, and it gets closed down quickly. Gain of four. Mayfield, third and six, throwing up to the end zone. Donovan Peoples-Jones knocked away in the back of the end zone. That forces the Browns to kick a 50-yarder, but Zane Gonzalez drills it. Browns go up by 14 again, 17-3. Stafford on first down, sends Williams in motion out right. Empty set, gets the snap, throws quick over the middle to Hawkinson, who does a nice job. Stiff arms, 
Brooks Jr. down and gets grabbed by Zayvon Collins from behind. Quick short throw, first down. And on first, to, first and 10, pitches out right to Williams, makes a move on Collins in the hole, breaks a tackle from Brooks. He's able to get himself a good first down run, probably about 12 on that one, out to the 49. Williams inside give on the handoff here, first and 10. Out of the shotgun, makes another move on Collins at the second level, and he's going to get himself another 15-yard gain. He's got 47 on six carries early in this one. Got to be able to slow down Williams, especially effective running out of the shotgun. Shotgun again. Stafford moves Williams out to the left. Empty set. Brown send pressure. Unable to get home. Dumps it to Hawkinson, who breaks a tackle. Fights off a Collins tackle and gets grabbed by Brooks down at the 22. Lions with a good response drive now. First and 10, looking left, dumps it out to Hawkinson again for a short gain. He's getting some action now. Gain of three there for the, for the tight end. Stafford again, looking left again to Hawkinson. Another short gain. He's gotten three straight. Third and four now. Ground show pressure up the middle. Pressure comes. Pressure gets home and forces the tough throw. I think that was Miles Garrett in there. Barely able to get it away with Stafford, but the pressure forces an errant throw, and that's going to force the Lions to settle for three. 17-6. Baker Mayfield back onto the field from his own 28. Three and a half left in the second quarter. Play fake goes to Hunt. Looks over the middle to Galladay, who drops it. Another good in-breaking route. Good strong throw by Baker. Unlucky. This time he's going up top to DPJ on second down, and that's broken up. Rounds quickly to third and ten. Unlucky. Back-to-back -back throws. Wide receivers got to help him out. Third and ten. Baker rolling right. Finds Hunt in the flats. Going to get out to the first down. About 15-yard gain right there for Hunt. Nice job by Baker. Extend. Move outside of the pocket. Find Hunt. His release valve. Dump it off to him. Let him get the carry. Run in space. Play action on first and ten. Baker looking left to Hooper. What a catch. Beautiful throw. Baker dropping it into the basket right to Hooper. Makes the nice over-the-shoulder catch with the defender all over his back. That's going to be a Browns first down. Beautiful. Right in the basket by Baker. First and ten from the 30. Inside give to Chubb. Four jerseys instantly around him. Only good for two. Chubb really being bottled up early in this one. Second and eight, Hunt on the field with Baker. Baker rolling right. Stopping, throwing, back of the end zone. Donovan Peoples-Jones is there. What a catch by 11. A little backyard football here. Baker looking, finding nobody, can't run, throws it up to the back of the end zone, leads DPJ out to the pylon, and he's able to get his feet down that looks good to me. Two, two feet in, possession. That's a Browns touchdown. Now they are going to take a look at it. All scoring plays reviewed. Refs are going to check to see if he had possession. Hard to tell from that camera angle there. This one might be our best look. Possession, right foot is down, left foot is down. As long as it's not on the back white, he's certainly in. And this one is going to stand. Browns take the 24-6 lead on a beautiful little scramble drill on third down for Baker Mayfield. Nice connection to DPJ. And with 2.05 left to play in the first half, Browns up 24-6. Stafford on first down, looking out right, finds Williams into the flats, who breaks a tackle and then is forced out of bounds by Ward. Taking us to the two-minute warning. Not sure he gained any yards on that one. He did not. Second and 10. Stafford pocket collapsing. Finds Williams again over the middle. Cleaned up by Walker Jr. And the Lions are going to go no huddle now. Play action to Williams. Pressure coming. Throw out left. Oh, my goodness. What a catch. Greedy Williams all over on the coverage, but the receiver able to hang on for a first down on the sideline. First and 10, dump down to Williams. He's got space, roaming over the middle. Collins able, unable to track him down. Another first down for the Lions. First and 10, pressure coming. Malik Jackson gets him. 
takes him down with the left guard in hand. Fights through the guard, able to get to the quarterback and bring them both down. What a sack by Jackson. Second and 14, dumps down to Williams again. Collins there. Instantly, Lions take a quick timeout. Third and six with 50 seconds left. At the Browns 34, Stafford gets the shotgun snap. Drifts, looks right. Ward all over him, makes the play. Nicely done by the Browns defense to bend but not break. Lions tack on three more. 38 seconds left to go in the first half. Baker getting this one started at the 26 in shotgun. It looks like the Browns are not interested with all three of their timeouts and taking this one to half. Throw out left to Landry. Look like Okuda all over him. Officials toss the flag. Only a five yard variety, but the uh, Browns are gonna accept that pass interference. First and 10 from the 31. Baker dumps it out right to Hunt who gets hit. Does a nice job staying in bounds on the boundary. Browns take their first time out. Baker in shotgun. Four wide receivers, second and five. Gets the snap, steps up, looks to run, and runs out of time. Jamie Collins works his way past Austin Jackson, able to get through. Baker holding the ball a little too long there. Third and nine, Baker steps up this time. Gonna get tripped up, had a little bit of daylight and the Lions are gonna take their timeout. They want the ball back. And after a good punt, Lions don't have a lot of options. They're just gonna go ahead and kneel this one out and that's gonna do it for our first half. Browns initially jumped out to a big lead, 14-0. Lions did a good job just kind of weathering the early storm of turnovers to stay in this one. 24-9 is our halftime score. As we take a look at games around the league, remember this is a Thursday nighter, so lots of options throughout the rest of this week, including a good matchup between the Bucks and the Rams on Sunday. Ravens and Chicago Bears play the Sunday night game. The Chargers and the Chiefs at 8.30 in Arrowhead play in the Monday nighter in prime time. Zayvon Collins with the biggest play of the first half. The pick six on the first throw of the game. He does a nice job to get his hands on it and bring it back. As the Browns come out of the locker room for halftime, we're ready to get this second half started. First and 10 from the 20, Baker Mayfield settles in under center. Barking out changes. Short step drop of three. Throws a good ball to OBJ across the middle. He gets out to midfield, but then is injured. Looked like a pretty straightforward tackle from behind on the corner. OBJ slowed. Not easy getting up, and oh no. He is hobbling his way into the locker room. Trainers have the helmet. OBJ looking like he's in a lot of pain. We'll have to check in on him here pretty soon, but that does not look good for 13. Does pick up the first down, though. Out to midfield almost. First and 10 to Chubb. Initially a little bit of space and then gets dragged down. Another gain of two on first down. Not a lot of room for Chubb. Play action here. Baker rolling out right. Looking deep to Galladay. Throws it up towards the sideline. Actually intercepted but out of bounds. And dislocated ankle for OBJ. Unable to return to this one. We'll have to check the injury report after the game. But he's done for the day. On third and eight. From midfield, Baker barking out changes. Gets a little bit of room, steps up left, finding space into the secondary. He's gonna scamper out of bounds. Nice pickup, Baker doing a really nice job extending plays with his feet. Has for the last few weeks as well. Play action on first and 10. Baker finding pressure on the rollout. Tries to get rid of this one back to Chubb. And unfortunately, he's gonna get flagged for the, for the uh, intentional grounding. Chubb, I thought was an, an eligible receiver kind of in the area. Unfortunately, not able to do it. Second and 22, gives to Chubb who finds a ton of room into the secondary. That's a huge pickup of 20 on second and very long. Able to get the Browns to a third and two. Chubb up the middle, gets grabbed by the middle linebacker. Number 51, Talu, Ta Tavu, 
I'm not sure how he says his name, Tavai. Regardless, he makes the stop on Chubb, but Chubb able to wiggle his way forward for the first down. And on first, he's able to pick up a gain of six. Second and four, Baker under pressure. Hit as he throws. That one's incomplete. Pressure right up the middle on Baker. Third and four. Fakes to Chubb. Baker looks to run, then throws to Landry. Was going to run the RPO. Baker saw room up the middle and then peeked forward, and Landry was flashing in front of him. So he just dumps it down to him. First down. Now on first and 10 from the 11, Hunt fights off a tackle. Short gain of three. Ooh, second and seven. Baker setting up the screen. Almost gets intercepted there to, ch to Hunt. Very lucky that uh, the Lions defender breaks that one up. Third and seven from the eight. Baker play action, looking back of the end zone. Had Landry there. Nice play by Tavai to swat that one down in the back of the end zone. Browns are gonna settle for three. And uh, on will come Matthew Stafford for his first drive of the second half. He has been getting hit all day long. Browns up 27-9. Midway through the third in this one. Inside give on first down is to Williams. Shuffles, able to skirt out for five yards to the 28. On second and five, that's a good pitch. Got a room, got a little bit of room, got a little bit of blockers, but Grant Delpit able to wiggle his way around and find Williams. Third and one from the 32. Brooks Jr. trying to fill the hole and he's gonna miss him and Williams is gonna go. 20, 15, 10, five, touchdown Detroit. Damian Williams, now with 500 rushing yards on the season, breaks a huge one here. Able to get around Brooks by bumping into the back of his offensive lineman. And with the Browns showing pressure all across the line of scrimmage on third and short, there was only one player left to stop him and he could not. Williams scores, making this one 27-16 as the Lions start to mount a bit of a comeback. Baker on first and 10. Disruption in the backfield with the tight end Hooper, but Chubb able to get himself four. And now on second and six, a dump down short to Landry is incomplete, unable to hang on, got grabbed as soon as he put his hands on it. Third and six, however, Hooper over the middle, settles into the soft spot in the zone. Baker finds him, able to convert the third and medium. Rounds first down. First and 10 from the 37. Baker Mayfield under center, moving Hooper to the left. Give his left to Chubb, who cuts it back inside up the middle. Tavai meets him. Gain of seven, though. First real room Chubb has had on first down, and now on second down, second and short. Chubb scampers with a burst, moves forward, gains about 12 on that one as well. First and 10, rounds across midfield. Third straight carry to Chubb off left edge. Met in the backfield, no gain. Lions. Lions run defense really doing a nice job. Second and 10, Baker throws this one on play action out to Hooper, makes a nice catch along the sideline. Baker rolls out and delivers a great ball up on the face to Hooper. He's able to get two feet down and then roll himself out of bounds. First and 10 to the 25, nice catch. And on first and 10, there's movement early. Uh, it looks like that's gonna be a false start on right tackle Jack Conklin making his first start for a few weeks. Not ideal, backs the rounds up five. First and 15, Baker, play action, looking left, under pressure, tough throw out to Landry. That one goes begging, incomplete. Second and 15, Baker in shotgun, gets this snap, looking out right to Hooper again. This time Hooper able to stay inbounds, falls down safely, gets downed at the 10, and JC Treader is now chipped up. Treader on the uh, training table being looked at, not looking good. We'll have to keep an eye on him now too as Nick Harris fills in. And on first and 10 from the 10, Nick Chubb out of shotgun, gets a handoff. They completely blow him up in the backfield and that is a turnover. Big fumble inside the red zone. Hunt just completely exploded by the middle linebacker Hitchens. Ugh, tough break for the Browns there. Injuries right and left, now a turnover in the red zone. Lions, kind of kind of sticking around, down 11 now. Stafford, first and 10 from his 13, dumps it off left, and now another Brown is down. This time it's Sheldon Richardson, defensive tackle. 
He's on the sideline gripping his helmet, definitely in discomfort. Not in the locker room, but certainly injured. Shoulder strain for J.C. Treader. He will be able to get back soon, but we'll see how effective he is in his first game back from injury. Now in second and four, Williams with fancy footwork up the middle, able to make Zaven Collins miss and get himself 15. First down. Stafford under pressure on first and 10. Drifts, drifts, holds too long, and Zaven Collins, that man, in on the play again. This time, he's got himself a sack. Had the huge pick six to start the drive, start the game, excuse me, on, on uh, Stafford. Now he's ready to go. Sheldon Richardson, bruised ribs. He's going to be able to return, but Brown's dealing with injuries right and left here. Dump is out left to Williams on second and 23. And that's Anthony Walker Jr. all over that one. Third and very long, 26 from the 13. Stafford settles in. Drump drops this one off short to Hawkinson. That's dropped. Forces the Lions to punt. And on comes Kareem Hunt, dealing with the fumble issues. He's out there on first and 10. Browns put him right back out there. Shotgun, drag route over the middle to Galladay. Finds himself some space in the right flat. He's able to get himself a first down. Browns out to the midfield stripe already. First and 10 from the 49. Give is to Chubb, met instantly by Tavai. Two yard gain on first down. Not a lot of room for Chubb all day today. And now a false start again on the Browns. This one, I think, is on Joel Batonio, left guard, number 75. Browns, self-inflicted wounds. Second and 13. Baker with the hard count. Now another false start. Back-to-back -back false starts. Browns absolutely killing themselves. Second and 18 now. Draw play to Hunt, who gets met. Had a little bit of room but it closed quickly, third and 17 now. Baker stepping up, stepping up. Looked like he was gonna run, now finds Nikhil Harry, who's got room up the sideline to the 10, to the five, trucks the safety. He's down at the five yard line. What an incredible play, 31 yards by Nikhil Harry, who's in for Baker, and that's gonna do it for the third quarter, but what a play by Baker Mayfield. Steps up, looks like he's gonna maybe try to run for this first down, Pulls up before crossing the line of scrimmage and chucks this one to, to Harry, who takes this one all the way down to the five. The Browns are in business again as we start the fourth. Baker, under center, moving Galladay, gives this one to Chubb, who gets met at the two and chopped down. Very, very close. Second and goal from the two, and Nick Chubb powers his way through. Flexes as he rumbles into the end zone. Browns with a huge response. Detroit starting to get a little momentum and Nick Chubb says, uh-uh, nah, you ain't about that life. Runs through the Lions linebacker, makes a statement. Baker's feeling it. Browns expand their lead 34-16. Matthew Stafford starting this drive at the 20. We've seen this formation all day from the Lions. Moves Williams out into the wide out position. Empty backfield. Throw over the middle. Oh my goodness. Wide open to Marcus Robinson. He has plenty of space. He scampers out to the 39 of the Browns. That's a huge pickup. Browns caught. No safety help in the middle. And uh, Robinson able to make some run after the catch and makes the Browns pay. Now on first and 10, throw over the middle. Throw over the middle is incomplete. Sheldon Richardson down again. Probably in his first snap back into the game. He's down and then on second and long, there's that man. His 15th sack on the season. That's Miles Garrett. Working on rookie right tackle Slater. Does a great club move, rips through. Able to get to Stafford right as he's getting ready to release the ball. Broken ribs for Sheldon, unable to return. Third and 17, the Browns bring pressure. Elijah Moore gets hit hard by Brooks, and now Miles Garrett is down. Big pickup there for the Lions, move themselves into field goal range. But the bigger story is Miles Garrett now down. 
on the sideline looking at he's working on his shoulders in some pain a rotator cuff shoulder injury Lions line up for the field goal and this one's leaning and he misses it left oh my goodness Daniel Carlson just pulls this one to the left side it was running out of steam too, kicking into the wind and uh, the Lions squander their opportunity there unhappy on the sideline Lions disappointed to miss that opportunity. Baker trots back on 20 of 32, 295, two touchdowns and a pick for six so far. Bruised shoulder for Miles Garrett. He will return, so he's not in big trouble, but every single person on the Browns feels like they're getting nicked up here early. Baker, I formation, give his right to Chubb. Tries to get to the outside. Jamie Collins slows him down. Rest of the Lions, D, slow him up, bring him down for a short gain. And now on second and 10, a throw over the middle to Hooper. Makes a nice move, breaks a tackle, falls forward. Lions did a great job all season. Already given up 34 points to the Browns so far today. On first and 10, the, the running woes continue. Out to the left is Chubb. Gets chopped down for a tackle for loss. Second and 11, play action. Baker rolling right, having trouble, chucks across his body out to Galladay and just couldn't find him a little too long. Now third and 11 for Baker. Throws over the middle, finds Galladay this time, but Galladay running out of room, slides down. It's going to be short. And now Zane Gonzalez on to try a 58-yarder, has wind help. Ball is down, kick is up. It's got the distance. What a kick by Zane Gonzalez. 58 yarder had a little bit of room to spare as well Browns tack on three more 37 16 and with under eight minutes to go in the fourth quarter on comes Stafford and as we've seen many times today moving Williams in from the backfield out to the wide receiver position double slants on the backside that's the same play they ran to start the last drive that's another pickup by Robinson Browns need to adjust to that first and ten out at the midfield stripe. Now a slant route over the middle to Quintez Cephas. That one goes for nine. Stafford in full throw mode now. Standing in the pocket, looks left. Another one over to Cephas. Stokes on the coverage. Another first down for the Lions. Now in first and ten. Dump is out right. Greedy tries to make the tackle. Williams avoids him. And then Collins and Walker Jr. able to clean it up for him. Browns ranked ninth in takeaways coming into this one. Already have two on the day today. And on second and six, Mama, there's that man again. Same formation. Different play this time as they find another tight end over the middle. Browns adjusted, ready for the double slants, and we end up with a mesh concept over the middle. Find a soft spot right in the center of that Browns zone. And on first and ten, a throw out right. Great route by Moore. Gets himself nine second and inches. Stafford looking left. Finding more once again on the short out route. Gain of four. First and goal from the seven. Inside draw. Williams met at the line by Stokes, but he falls forward. He's got his second touchdown on the day. That man is a problem for this Browns defense. Williams doing a great job. Heck of a, heck of a drive there to respond by the Lions and respond quickly. Williams on the delayed give. Courageous. Just dives at the at the goal line, goes right after Stokes and falls forward. 37-23 in this one with four minutes to go. Baker back out there. And first and ten inside give to Hunt. Met. Gain of zero on first down. Browns cannot find any room on first and ten to run the football. Now on second and long. Chubb. Give to Chubb in the backfield. He gets met. That's a tackle for loss. Hamilton in there on this one. What a play by him. Browns forced to a third and 12. And now on a great dig inside route. That is Nikhil Harry, who's stepping up majorly for the injured Odell Beckham Jr. Matthew Stafford knows that that's a big one. Third and long. Baker stands tall. Plenty of time, delivers a strike to Harry, who's actually running a post route. Defender right on his hip. Harry makes a nice 
contested catch. And the Browns keep the drive alive. First and 10, Chubb running right. Another short gain of two. Stafford and the rest of the uh, Lions offense taking a look at the time as we hit the two minute warning. Time is not their friend. Baker under center, two tight ends. Give his left to Chubb around the left side. Get some space. Breaks a, uh, makes a man miss at the secondary level. Out to the 24, what a run by Nick Chubb. Just too quick, catches the defender flat-footed. He's gonna get himself another first down. Now on first and 10 from the 42, Baker airing it out, what a ball. Tosses this one, lobs it into the basket for Jarvis Landry, Landry great touch. Throwing, forcing the lines to use another timeout, but through the air. Now on first and 10, Stiff arm by Chubb, gets outside to the to the edge, does a nice job staying in bounds. Gain a three, but uh, more importantly, Lions take another timeout. Second and seven, Chubb met basically at the line of scrimmage, fighting people off. Short gain of three, third and four, big play here. Chubb gives to him, stiff arms to Vi, and then met by Jamie Collins. Unfortunately, Brown's unable to get the first, but Zane is gonna come on and tackle on additional Additional insurance points, 40-23, as Stafford comes back on, no timeouts. Quick drop left to Cephas, makes a tackle, gets the first down, but they are out of time. Browns are gonna take this one at home, 40-23. Browns winners on Thursday night. What a, what a back and forth game, despite the game never being close. It felt like the Lions always responded. We're able to finally Browns are able to finally run the clock out as Baker celebrates with the home fans. He had himself a nice day. 349 through the air, two touchdowns, one interception. Stafford also solid, unable to lead his team to victory, however. Damian Williams, 141, two touchdowns on 11 carries. Chubb goes over the century mark, 117, but only averaged four yards per carry. Got himself into the end zone. Williams effective through the air again, has himself 55 on checkdowns. Elijah Moore goes for 78. Austin Hooper, 103 in a touchdown. The Browns leading receiver had himself a nice day. Landry and Galladay both in the, around the 50 yard mark. Donovan Peoples-Jones with the big one though. One catch, 28 yards, but a touchdown. And OBJ, one catch for 26 and he's injured. Austin Jackson gives up the lone sack for the Browns today. And Jelani Tavai with 18 tackles. He played massive. Grant Delpit leading the way for the Browns at nine, followed up by Denzel Ward with eight. Jackson, Vernon, Delpit all able to get sacks as well as Collins and Garrett. Browns were effective getting to Stafford today. Nicely done by the Browns defense. Brooks, Collins, and Jeff Okuda Rack up interceptions. Okuda with a really nice play. Ohio State product. Carlson, three of four. Zane, perfect on the day. And Kevin Stefanski, continuing to stay undefeated, has another upgrade. We're going to go ahead and tack this one onto his offensive line training boost. Give those guys up front, especially the young guys, a little bit of extra XP each week. Solid, solid, uh, performance so far by the young coach in the 2021 season and it looks like OBJ out five weeks with a dislocated ankle Sheldon going to be out four with broken ribs the Browns get two off of the injured list and add two more right in quick succession top players of the week in week nine Zayvon Collins defensive player of the week in the AFC earns himself another upgrade we put this one into pass coverage He's up to a 78 overall with a plus one morale boost. The rookie really doing a nice job. Lots of green things all over his skills. And uh, there's his stats for the day, or for the season so far, excuse me. Two sacks, an interception, three tackles for loss. A lot of tackles, he's doing a nice job. Olivier Vernon, in his final year, we already brought him back when we thought we weren't going to. So we're still on the hunt for left end. We've got Aiden Hutchinson, of course. But uh, never a bad idea to have too many people on the defensive line, especially if they're young. Parks and Greenfield look pretty solid, but we'll continue to, re to scout that particular position group. And in week 10, the Pittsburgh Steelers at one in seven are coming to town. 
They've dropped seven straight, including losing to the Lions. They're coming off a bye, though. We'll see how they do. And it doesn't matter. The Browns, on the road, go into Heinz Field and take out the Steelers 28-6. Browns lose the turnover battle 2-0, but dominate time of possession 38-21. Baker Mayfield, 223, two touchdowns, one interception. Mac Jones, 187, and no touchdowns or interceptions, but seven sacks. Are you kidding me? Seven sacks. Nick Chubb goes for 88 and a touchdown. Kareem Hunt, 37 on the ground. Baker, 24, continuing running the ball while he's doing it out of his quarterback position. And Dearness Johnson gets himself a touchdown on a short run. Jarvis, high receiver of the day, gets himself into the end zone, along with Kenny Galladay. Both of them picking up some of the slack for Odell Beckham being out. Perry got himself four catches for 43 yards, picking up for Odell being out. And Cole Van Lannon, rookie right tackle out of Wisconsin. Four sacks given up. Steelers defense, all kinds of trouble all day as Devin Bush led everybody with 14 tackles. Miles Garrett, three and a half sacks. Malik Jackson, Olivier, and Billings, all of them in on the sack party. Steven Nelson picks up the lone interception of the day and Bud Dupree with the forced fumble and fumble recovery, but it does not matter. And there's the man they decided to trot out there against Miles Garrett. 66 overall Cole Van Landen, rookie out of Wisconsin. The, uh, the youngster struggled mightily. But that's going to do it for today's episode. Next time we are facing Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals. 79 overall superstar. I appreciate you guys sticking around with me on this series. I'm having a blast making this content as we gear up for Madden 22. The Browns continue their undefeated ways. Be sure to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications if you're enjoying the content, and I will catch y'all next time. Peace!